Getting late. Where to now?
Journey. The way 
Cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. We'll deal with problems outside the base zone later. Huh, it's you. had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. pudding this morning. I made it especially for you. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... Miss Asta said that gratitude has to be sincere. It's a shame that I had to finish it up so hastily. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. If he's doing research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. Ready. 
hypothesis. Thought always precedes mm. word. Hey, uh? And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Of course not, Mr. Skrulem. Welcome to Herta Space Station. No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. We appreciate your high price, Mr. Skrulem. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely, but I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there, right this way. Sure. And you are? Hey! <laughs> Judging by this fellow's surprised reaction, you must be the one Herta is always talking about. She's quite curious about you, as am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. Sorry, I wanted to show you around, but now I don't think I'll be able to get away. All right, see you later. be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Such a concerned and responsive tone. You must be the one everyone's been talking about recently. Your kind-heartedness is famous throughout the space station. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard. A cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. I don't know who or what it was. Actually, I'm investigating that right now. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her once before. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. Yeah, it was pretty unexpected. 
Space Station affairs are usually handled by lead researcher Asta. This is the first time I've seen Madame Herta give orders in person. To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. Just like this. Oh, uh, uh, that's, uh... I didn't ask you to look at that! Unbelievable! Why would something like this be in the space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave a drop of sweat! So this is what we're looking for? This suspicious evidence? <sighs> It wasn't what I was expecting, but... Wait a second. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, oh, I see. This is electronic graffiti that appears to represent punk Lordian symbols. I if I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. We need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. You got me there! I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want a friend. Anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you too? Ah, uh, just do me a favor! It won't take up too much of your time. Here, just point it at the graffiti on the wall. For the masters. Show no mercy. You the doctor? Nice teamwork. something popped up here, then Void Rangers jumped out! But look! Just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted! If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It's exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. 
She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemies somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez, Stellaron Hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. It's not only impressive, how should I put it? She can edit reality as freely as she could edit a program. Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? I always thought it was fringe science and that nobody other than the masked fools believed it really existed. There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. put down a question mark. They must be making fun of us. She went towards the base zone. <sighs> yep. There's only one way. Ah, disappeared again? This thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering it. She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. She makes it seem easy. Is she really looking at the Curio Collection Index? Judging by how calm she is, she must have been in this room for a while. Maybe she was waiting for someone. I'm not sure what happened after that. Let's search somewhere else. The graffiti's location is quite... interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. They call this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game, and having fun is what's most important. I don't understand that way of thinking. But it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. The same thing happened last time as well. I was so close to the target, but got obliterated in the final battle of information. <sighs> Doesn't help to dwell on past failures. It's more important to do your best with the things in front of you. Ah, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. They seem to be heading toward the monitoring room. Your fake ID info is ready. Ah, so that's what happened. She sneaked in first, then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. Let's see. The registered name is... Leonard Colliwell? How is this possible? She... She used my identity. I, I never noticed that there was an issue with this record. I subconsciously glanced right past it when I saw my own name. She's so cunning. It's an honest mistake. The reaction 
function of any ordinary person is to check for unfamiliar names, right? <laughs> Who would think to check their own name? Other graffiti. They're all different too. She really put some thought into this. of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. I don't think so. That's not the same as passing straight through a wall. Look. Hold on, I got it. It might be an effect from a curio. There was a pre-established folded space here and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the Curio Collection Index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Huh? What are you muttering about? Hmm. Why would they leave you here if their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron no problem. Graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed. The trail has gone cold. Ugh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> Sorry, that sounded better in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely unfamiliar to you. Oh, me? That's how I feel when I wake up every day. I can't help but feel there's more that they're after. <sighs> I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. Otherwise, I'll feel bad for having you do so much work for nothing. <sighs> the more I talk about it, the worse I feel. I should probably find something that I can do. Hmm, there's a rating pistol here. I wonder what my rating would be. Whoa, look here! There's a strange access log in the rating pistol's compartment. It looks like the log time occurred during the Legion's invasion. The researchers would have already been evacuated by then. Could it have been her? In which case, she didn't leave immediately. She implanted the Stellaron inside you and then fiddled around with the rating pistol for a while. Could it be that... I just realized something. We need to go to the Curio Collection Room on the other side.
just as I thought. She was here. that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. You remember it, right? It's actually on the list of missing curios. I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker has a personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission... I, I got it! I got it now! The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her! Look, in the end, they didn't take the Stellaron with them. She was so interested in the Curio Collection Index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. She knew we would be looking for the Stellaron Hunters and used it as her cover. Very smart. To be expected of someone from Punk Lord. Hold on though, something doesn't add up. The curios are Madame Herta's most prized possessions. All the visit requests are sent to her office from the computer in the main control room. Some researchers tried to gain access to the curios for research purposes once, but they didn't get proper authorization. She caught them all red-handed. You got me there. But with the skills of this hacker, I do think it's possible. We should go and check the main control room. Don't move. Oh, I get chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. Just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. Oh, this wouldn't have been a high priority issue. The space station's to-do list is ridiculously long at this point. I am curious though. She paused the terminal transmissions, but didn't touch the local data at all. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. Hmm. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Look at this agreement. Follow my charge. Conflict is ridiculous. No you don't look so good. Lance up. A thousand wonders to fight its one. <laughs> Done. Show no mercy. Need a doctor? Stay off! 
Nice teamwork. See? I was right. There was something fishy about the local data she left behind. Now we can browse through the curio access logs. Huh? That can't be right. This curio doesn't seem to have ever left the space station. Hmm, from the way things look, yes. The records show that this curio was last sent to Madam Herta's office, and then it disappeared? I'm seriously confused. What did she come here for? She wouldn't have put the graffiti up just to mess with us, would she? Ugh. No, if I start thinking like that, I may as well give up now. I have to fully investigate every lead, or I'll really be out of a job.
getting late. Where to now? That's not gonna happen. I'll say it again. I don't care what Runmei said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down this simulated universe. Perta, I've made my decision. Question. What have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology in the entire universe. And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. But now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge. But I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Herta, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many disappointments has it given you? The simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints me, Skrulem. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing? Right now, you're more like, 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 someone from the Nitwit Society. Herta, I don't mean to question you. Nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. I just want to give more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. Leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. I can go find Adrian Taylor, or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon, or even the Intelligentsia Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. Ugh. Screw them. We've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that you're nothing but a piece of ice-cold metal. My apologies, madam. This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. The question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. Are you worried about her mental state? Judging by the result, I have failed to choose the most suitable time to raise this matter. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. Let Herta be alone for a while, so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, Maybe I can help in answering your questions. Hmm. Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. 
A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Young madam, how much do you know about punk lord? It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. Yes, no need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. It's as I said, it is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. I understand your concern. If the individual in question did indeed try to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. As such, please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, madam. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. It will remain shut until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. Yes, this is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. By way of apology for shutting down the simulated universe, I will use my abilities in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. This is my recommendation. Please take your time to consider it. I was so scared I couldn't utter a single word. The simulated universe? Shut down? That's Madame Herta's biggest project. I can't imagine how mad she'd be if it fell through. Wait, this isn't my fault, is it? If I'd been able to stop the enemy's invasion, would Mr. Skrullum be less pessimistic? <sighs> You're right. Ugh, this is terrible. I feel like I'm incapable of doing anything. Still, beating myself up all the time won't help either. We're here for the cartridge. At the very least, we must try and see this thing through. Having heard what Mr. Skrulum said, you're entering the simulated universe to continue the investigation, aren't you? <sighs> I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you. I'll be helping Mr. Skrulum monitor the system's internal data flow from the office. <sighs> I'm so nervous. This is the first time I've been involved in something so big. Anyway, I'll be cheering for you. Well, madam, are you ready? Please, ask away. I welcome all forms of curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Yes. There are other concerns besides those I've mentioned. I believe that the miracles inside the simulated universe have the right to grow and develop organically. The will of others shouldn't be imposed upon it, just like in the actual universe. The more Herta tries, the further she moves away from the universe that she had hoped for. Conclusion. The endless iterations of the simulated universe are wearing down her talents 
day by day. I hope to free my dear friend from it. Nevertheless, I must also clarify that this is my opinion alone. You should form your own judgment on Herta, young madam. They are a group that carries a balance scale with them at all times. They believe all the justice in the universe needs to be achieved through individual deeds. That was the most suitable way of describing the Galaxy Rangers, in my interpretation. They are directed by the path of the hunt, and are always accompanied by song and the sound of horns. They pursue justice for the individuals and groups they encounter along the way, and shower them with splendid wines and poems. However, all stories come to an end, just as they disappeared from the spotlight long ago. There is a group of life forms there that know nothing of fatigue. They are attempting to touch upon the umbilical cord of the truth. They are compiling the languages, thoughts, and even emotions of the entire planet into symbols that even inorganic life forms can understand. You see, in the vast sea of data, life exists only in one form, a line of code. Whether it's a butterfly, a whale, or even you, the length of that line of code dictates the boundaries of what the entity entails. Please, it's only a metaphor. Very well. Get going, we shall. I will be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. It might feel a little different than usual. This will help us quickly locate the cartridge in the vast sea of data. We'll start with this data link. Now, please prepare yourself for a deep dive with your consciousness. Young madam, are you all right? You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. Hacker. Oh, conclusion. That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Young madam, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. Hey, you. Why are you staring at me? I initiated the simulation flow. This is just a record of the past. She is not actually talking to you. Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. 
I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. Secondly, it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. Lastly, I'm gonna say it again. I am not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe, her and her companion. Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. You took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> what a headache. You took the bait. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Fork in the road, huh? I got this. Wanna pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try. It's a nice thing to have a companion who likes to talk, isn't it? Hmm, wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. What? Why won't you believe me? Told you it's the right side, the right! looking for. It's a bait signal. Ugh, why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. We've met only once. Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. We fought against one another before. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and I would defend. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. What the? This was the right way all along. Ugh, Herta's got some psychological tactics going on. 
Seems like we can now continue forward. again. A riddle? Where's the skip button? Took the bait. Time for a fun. <laughs> you took the bait. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Finally, almost there. <laughs> There's even a miniature Huda over here. Stake, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. The entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? Herta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. Yes, that incongruous feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the ether cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. I must admit, this feels less like a chase and more like a chance encounter. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game, an attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let us accompany her till the end.
Look, we found it. The ether cartridge is here, and it's perfectly intact. There is an unwelcome third party here with us. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. You want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion in her eyes. The final results are on the display table, young madam. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. You've guessed correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe, and found a way to continue alongside us. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. The graffiti is like a two-way data tunnel. You can use it to retrace the trail she leaves behind and she can monitor your progress by seeing which pieces of graffiti have disappeared. I fear she may well have had the whole thing planned out before hacking the space station. The graffiti and the back door were all in aid of honing in on just the right moment. I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation but rather the lack of it. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. Well then, were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey, Miss Silver Wolf? didn't you? I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It is a joy and an honor to have the opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. So, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act? You did all that to lure me in? That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. Hmm. Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. You now know everything about this encounter. Everything? No, no. You're wrong about the most important part. You think I came here out of desperation, but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen, and the IPC were a disappointment. Only the Society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? 
Would you have turned them down? You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. Oh, a copy. You completed it while we were talking just now. Why else would I entertain so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herda is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. And I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Screwlem, will I be able to see your true strength this time? The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. Huh? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? Your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. I'm gonna leave with this cartridge, then. That's just a duplicate. Correction, not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. The real curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion, you may share that data freely. What if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. Then, what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. What is the point of this, then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Silver Wolf, I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. <laughs> How boring. However, Herta felt that this would be too easy on you, and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse hacked you and located all your interastral network accounts. A total of 76 accounts. A very impressive number. How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them? Including all of your game records. What? Hey, hold on a minute. And she logged out. How hasty of her. <sighs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child, but to an adult, they are but one among many ways of solving a problem. It's about time we were on our way. <laughs> a flawless victory! 
Hope you got a glimpse of Herta's awesomeness, kiddo. You think this was complicated? Do you think the Punk Lord hackers are amateurs? I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. <laughs> Thank you, young madam. Your and Mr. Leonard's contributions were a necessity to our victory. Do you have any other questions regarding this incident? Her ultimate goal was always the ether cartridge, but she developed an alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary ploys Nothing more than games, I'll wager. If you are referring to the back doors Silver Wolf left behind, we have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the office. Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. Please, ask away. Certainly not. Although Madame Herta and I have our differences in terms of research direction, the simulated universe is our shared pursuit, and nothing will change that. On the contrary, I plan on staying here for a while to see up close what kind of surprises the new branch of the universe has in store for me. There is no one answer to that question, my friend. It holds a different meaning for everyone. To sentimental, organic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons, or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time. To the swarm that follows its instincts, it might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. And for me, perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart. Something great that you call emotions. Of course, I've also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two-digit number. A medium-rare cattle steak, salt-baked Kalia lemongrass, Herman compound milk, and a portion of fried rice prepared by a certain young man on the station. All I need is energy. The form that energy comes in is the same as it is for you. I would never forsake the delights of the culinary world in the interests of efficiency. Now, it is possible that my joints may need a little lubricant every now and again. Well, young madam, our destination may differ, but there are still countless opportunities for our paths to cross. The pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force for trailblazing. So, the reason Madam Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? That never crossed my mind! Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? <laughs> she said I did a good job! Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madame Herta! This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life! I don't have to worry about being fired anymore! This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. Uh. 
<laughs> it's gone. It's all gone. They seriously left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far. All right, all right. Stop with the tantrum. You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? Ugh. If it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep, just me. Why? Do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elio's next script. Did you forget? Oh, right. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you, I'm not obsessed with it. Besides, there's fun to be had along the way. Getting late. Where to now?
believe this, but... Life insurance policies on the go.
It's getting late. Where to now? Afraid of me. A sharp scythe needs targets. So you are afraid of me. Scythe.
turn. Protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Sora. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Mr. Svarok, we'll be safe here. This will strengthen our position. I've no interest in conflict. My turn! You don't look so good. Thanks a lot. I'm afraid of you. Annihilate. Fighting is meaningless. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Stay back, Clara. Try that again! You don't look so good! Past victories don't...
hard stuff. Watch this awesome move. No interest in conflict. My turn. <laughs> Here. I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Sora. Let me tend your wounds. Annihilate. Fighting is meaningless. Don't worry about me. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! I need to be brief. Eliminating threat. No interest. Tough luck running into me. Don't worry about me. Fighting is meaningless. My turn! Let me tend your wounds! I'm not afraid of you! Stay back, Clara! No interest! You couldn't have done it without me. to repent. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! to repent.
need to repent. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! This will strengthen our position. That I know certainly is Tough luck running into me! <laughs> you! I want to protect everyone too! Help me, Mr. Tarak! Need a doctor? Hey, to repent. <laughs> the truth of life and death will be sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let me tend your wound. <laughs> Eliminating threat. Fighting is meaningless. My turn. <laughs> No interest in con- I need to be brief. <laughs> Woohoo! Tough luck running into me! <laughs> you! Fighting is meaningless. Try that again! You're annoying! <laughs> Tough luck did your prescription! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Let me tend your wounds. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! I hope I helped. Mr. Svarog, we'll be safe here.
Reach the end of the story in your own way. the end of the story in your own way. Here, this thunder! Lance at the ready! our chest. There's 
no time to lose. Here is thunder. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. I commend you. Battles are chess games. No. I commend. I when commence faced with an army. Bide your time and time your attack. Follow my 
charge. Here, the thunder. <laughs> Show no mercy. Lance of the ready. Welcome, customers. A foregone conclusion. Conflict is pitiless. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. It's getting late. Where to now? Command. <laughs> cool. He's the moment. <laughs> Here, the thunder. Pretty good team.
I commend. Peace the moment. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Let me die. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. I commend. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder! I commenced with an army. So Reach the end of the story in your own way. We need a strategy. Will of preservation! I commend. <laughs> cool it! Done. Show no mercy. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Welcome, customers. <laughs> A thousand wonders to raise you.
your spirits! <laughs> Fight as one! There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder! Getting late. Where to now?
It's getting late. Where to now? You. you look like you just got shocked by an electric snail. Relax, I'm just dropping by for a visit. I was hacking through the dark regions of the inner astral network a while ago and happened to see a signal from the Astral Express. So I thought I'd stop by to check it out. What you see in front of you is a hologram. Just as harmless as the whale holograms you see floating around the express. Here, see for yourself. Seeing is believing, right? If you're still not convinced, you can cut off the network connection on the express and I'll disappear into thin air. Until you turn it back on, of course. What you see in front of you is just a hologram, harmless as a puff of air. You don't need another demonstration, do you? Turning. 